Hello and welcome to another video on AV Forums. I'm Phil Hinton, the site editor. And in today's video, we're looking at the Samsung S95C QD OLED. And we're looking at the best picture settings out of the box to get the TV as close as possible to the industry standards. So those are the standards where the content has been mastered to a specific level and intended to be seen. So that's the industry standards that everybody works to. And by making sure that the TV is in the correct settings here, and we're not necessarily going to change any settings, we're just gonna put it into picture modes and then check that those picture modes are correct. You should be able to see TV, sports and film content as the director intended. So to make this work, you're going to need to feed the TV a normal HD signal, so just a normal TV signal or uh, Blu-ray um, of some description um, and make sure that that's running and then the menu system should be correct. And then we're going to need HDR content, so if you go to a streaming service on your Samsung TV or, or a 4K UHD Blu-ray, uh, then that should feed uh, the correct signal into the TV and then when you go into the menu system, it will have changed to HDR. So with that in mind, um, I'm using the Spears & Munsell UHD Benchmark Disc, which is fantastic because I can actually go in and uh, change the settings within the disc quite quickly. Um, but like I say, make sure you have the correct content to hand to follow this video. So we're starting with SDR, so I'm just feeding the TV and SDR Rec 709 signal. So that's basically a TV signal, or in this case, I'm feeding an SDR signal from a Blu-ray disc. And we're gonna press the settings button on the remote control. So the remote control that I'm using is the long plastic one with all the buttons. I'm not using the nice sleek little remote. There are two remotes in the box. Uh, the reason I'm using the old fashioned remote with all the buttons on because it has all the buttons and it has a settings button which takes us straight into the correct menu that you need to be in. If you're using the small remote with the solar charging on the back, um, it is a little bit long winded to get to the correct menu here. So like I say, this is SDR first of all, and the first thing we need to do uh, for both is going to uh, the general and privacy menu, and we want to go to power and energy saving. And we want to make sure that uh, brightness optimization is switched off, you want to make sure the energy saving solution is switched off. In fact, you want to make sure that everything in here is switched off um, because we don't want anything affecting the brightness of the TV. Uh, certainly don't want the light sensor or anything like that manipulating uh, the image, which it does if the brightness optimization is switched on. So we make sure that that is switched off. Then we're going to go back to the main menu, go back to picture. And we're not necessarily going to change a lot here. We're just going to make sure that we're in the correct picture mode. So the correct picture mode to be in is filmmaker mode. There are other uh, settings in there, dynamic standard, eco, movie. We want to be in filmmaker mode. That is the correct mode. And the reason for that is filmmaker mode switches everything off that shouldn't be on. So any image manipulation, any uh, motion interpolation, it's all switched off so you can see the content as it was mastered and intended to be seen because filmmaker mode also makes sure that it's very accurate for grayscale. So the grayscale should be incredibly accurate in filmmaker mode out of the box. It should be correct at D65 white point and it'll also follow the Rec 709 color gamut for SDR content. And that's what you want for SDR content. You don't want any other color gamut or any other color manipulation. So we're not going to change anything in here. We're just going to make sure that everything is switched off that should be. And just a quick run down here. These are all the correct settings. BT1886 for gamma is correct. And again, we don't want anything else switched on here. Peak brightness, you can, if you're watching in a very bright room, take that up uh, to high. Uh, medium is good for most rooms. And again, if you're watching in a particularly dark room and the screen is a little bit too bright for SDR, you can also go all the way back up to the top to the panel brightness and adjust that down to suit the room that you're in. So that's everything we need to do for SDR. Uh, we're gonna to go to HDR next. So as I said at the start of the video, we want to make sure that we are feeding the TV an HDR signal. Like I say, I'm using the Spears & Munsell benchmark disc where you can go in and actually change SDR, HDR, you can change the NIT value in terms of mastering display metadata. You can go in and change 
most things. Uh, you can also feed it Dolby Vision. Of course, this is a Samsung TV. It does not have Dolby Vision. So what we're looking at is HDR or HDR10. And all we're gonna do is bring up the settings again. And once again, it's nice and easy. We're not really gonna change anything in here. And we've already set the uh, energy saving settings in the last part of this video. So we just need to go over and make sure that we are in filmmaker mode. Again, filmmaker mode makes sure that everything that needs to be switched off is switched off. So any image manipulation, um, anything in terms of motion is switched off. So you're seeing the content as it was mastered and intended to be seen. Uh, the only thing we really need to do is go through and check that the settings are correct. So brightness should be ramped up right to the top. We are in HDR now, and that's how the panel works. Um, we're gonna apply it to all sources, and then we're just gonna make sure things are switched off. Now, uh, HDR tone mapping. If you want to watch content, as it was mastered and intended to be seen, and we are in filmmaker mode, this automatically sets it to static, which means there's no dynamic tone mapping being applied uh, to this TV. It's just doing tone mapping to the standards. Um, so it will be correct. It's not over brightening the curve at all, which sometimes Samsung did in the past. It will be absolutely correct in static. You can go in and change it to active. And what that does is it applies um, the dynamic tone mapping. So it will assess each scene and change the screen brightness and manipulation of the image, which is not to the creator's intent and not to the standards. But if that's what you want, you can do that in there. And then we're just gonna make sure that it is ST2084 that we're tracking. And again, we don't need to touch anything else in here. Uh, color space settings, it is correct at auto. Uh, this year it is fixed. You shouldn't have any issues with that. And that is basically everything you need to do for HDR viewing if you want to watch it as it was mastered and intended to be seen in terms of TV, sports and film content. Everybody makes their programming within the same set of standards and going into filmmaker mode in SDR and HDR on this Samsung S95C will give you the image that you are supposed to see and to see it as intended. If this has been useful to you, this video, then please do consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, plus our full in-depth review of these TVs, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.